Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, All Things Middle Earth here with a quick video guide for you on how to counter every single evil troop type in the game. So stay tuned if you want to more efficiently, more effectively take out your evil enemies. <laughs> All right, you heard me correctly in the intro. We are looking at how to best counter evil troop types. Now, uh, I want to start off with why you need to know this before the video gets going, because if you don't know why you're learning something, it's kind of pointless. So the reason you want to know about troop counters is there's going to be a point in the game when you're trying to take 200 power or higher lands. And 200 is the point where you start facing two armies instead of one at everything else below that. And they get significantly harder. They, the highest level right now uh, below that is 150 the jump from 150 to 200 is huge and so with that uh, a lot of people and myself would suggest when you're first doing this to send a commander to a tile that you're looking to take to scout out and see what troop types are there and then send the best army comp there to take that out and get you your best shot at taking that high power tile now i have two different videos on taking 200 and 300 power tiles that go more in depth on those things so i'll link those in the top right right now if you're at that stage and wanting to see specifically how to take 200s on up but for now we're talking about specific troop counters uh, so that's why you'd want to do that because taking these uh, is very very valuable again there's a multitude of reasons but it's because you're going to want to counter to take higher tiles uh, and the other thing i want to kind of clarify here is this is going to be from a beginner standpoint and so we're looking at uh, the com the counters that are very obvious you know if we look at the skirmisher for example he is anti-cavalry training he does uh, extra damage against mounted units uh, that that's kind of a beginner counter that i'm talking about if they specifically counter another tube type they're going to be on this list the other couple things we are talking about this at, uh, from a good versus evil perspective but if you guys are interested in seeing a more inclusive list let me know uh, i'm going to show you basically i'm going to walk through every tr uh, evil troop type here and show you the good counter for it but if you want to see evil versus evil good versus good um, let me know and the other thing is i'm not going to be covering tier four units or hireable units since those aren't available to everyone and as a beginner you're not going to have tier fours and that'd be very specific depending on who you're playing as i don't know how many people are playing as rune and going to be worried about the war chariots so uh, if you want to see your tier fours and hireable, maybe they could be together in a video as well. So that's kind of the caveats get out of the way, just so you know what we're looking at. When I say standard evil troops, I mean tiers one through three evil troop troops available to anyone playing as an evil faction and how to best counter them as a good unit. But that's a lot of talking, so hope I still have you here. Let's jump over to the spreadsheet I made here so I can show you exactly how to do it. Before we hop over there, let's just pick a random unit and I'll show you exactly how it works. Let's say you're coming up against uh, mountain trolls, for example. You're playing as one of the good factions you come up against mountain trolls they are a large unit and they are a melee unit as you can see there and so all we have to do is if i hit this button here magically we've got our spreadsheet open and here don't don't uh get stressed out just yet by the uh the you know sheer awesomeness of this list uh but i very simply broke it down here on the left side where you can see the six different categories for basic troop counters the different units and what they do and then all of the evil troops and i have them color coded based on what i think works best for them so again we've got melee damage addition we have melee damage reduction large units anti-cavalry range damage addition range damage reduction and overall damage reduction and then our color code here great good bad so a lot of troops are good like they have one good counter going for them great kind of means they double up and they really do a good job against those so we were looking at the mountain troll for example and so we want to go here to the mountain troll you could use control f and search if you want to but there's not too many here so just scroll left or right to find the one you're looking for and if you look at the mountain troll we can see the two best counters for it are going to be the master axe throwers and it, that's it master axe throwers i have them listed twice because they're they uh, counter large units and melee units so if you look over the master units you can see they have battler's bane right here and giant slayer these are their max ability stats so they've got the great counter type there and they're going to very very easily counter the mountain trolls so an army of master axe throwers is going to do best for that maybe you don't have those so you can look and see there are some other good options that just do you know like the axe throwers and heavy axe throwers just do damage against melee units the knight and the cataphract have damage reduction and they receive less damage from melee uh, kind of a caveat on the knight and the cataphract as well uh, they technically always kind of double counter melee units because they have d overall damage reduction and damage reduction 
from melee units. But if I count, I don't think that makes them a, a great counter every time, uh, just because they have that that mounted ability all the time. Uh, but again, you can look through and see any of the ones that fall in the yellow are going to be solid. Green is good. And then if they're not listed, it means they just don't have a specific counter. doesn't mean they're bad. Uh, and if they're red, it means they're not going to do good. So we can hop back over here to our game and let's pick another troop type. Let's say uh, you're looking at the tier three rune, the dragoon, and you're looking here at their abilities and, and wondering how to counter them. Well, we can hop back over to the spreadsheet and look at the dra uh, the dragoon, excuse me. And uh, as you see here, the axe thrower, heavy axe thrower, and master axe throwers are actually red because the dragoon has an anti-ranged uh, ability. So it avoids damage from ranged units. So they're not gonna be as effective in this instance, but you can still use the knight and the cataphract. You can still use the spearmen or the guards of the tower who have the anti-cavalry training. And again, this doesn't mean they're gonna like be totally ineffective because obviously they're still gonna do extra damage because it's a melee troop, but uh, they're going to have uh, extra damage done to them um, because they are uh, a ranged troop. So again, as you can see over here, this is the ability I'm talking about, um, or it's the it's the damage they received is lessened. So it kind of balances out what they would have there. So that's the Dragoon. And uh, let's pick one more. Again, I want to make this short, but I, I think it's a pretty easy to understand list. So uh, let's say you're going up against, I don't know, how about these guys, the Morgul, Arbalist, uh, they are the tier three ranged troop for the uh, northern quarters if you're starting as Angmar. So you got these guys here. We can hop over to the list one more time. And here we see, uh, where are they? Right here, the Morgul Arbalist. And uh, not as many great counters for them, but again, that everybody has something that's going to be a little bit better than not knowing any information on him. Uh, here we can see the Ranger is going to be a good counter. The Ranger uh, does extra damage to ranged targets. And then the Dunedain is going to be a great counter right here because it does, uh, not only does extra damage to ranged units, but they also receive less damage from those ranged units. So again, uh, this is a pretty simple way of looking at things. Obviously, there are a lot of different troop compositions you can take with different commanders and what how their abilities work and what they do and all those different kinds of things. But this is meant to be uh, hopefully a helpful quick glance for a player. If you're just getting started learning about the game, maybe trying to put your best foot forward, make sure, hey, wh what what army comp can I take in? I've just scouted out this land. Uh, let me look here. Okay, they got, they got, they got cave trolls. Okay, great. I'm going to take uh, someone at least in the yellow if possible. Uh, or at least not in the red if you can help it. Um, so again, this isn't going to be the end-all be-all list, but I'm hoping hoping it's a good you know, kind of beginner-friendly way to look at that. So again, that's going to do it for me today. If you want to see more videos like this where I look at a, the analytical breakdown, again, that, that chart, uh, that sheet is going to be linked down below. If you want to see more sheets like that where we look at uh, evil versus good, this is kind of good troops, how they counter evil. If you want to see how evil troops counter good and even how good counters good and evil counters evil because that's going to happen in your faction or in your worlds most likely. And if you want to see tier four and hireable troops, uh, I'd be happy to put uh, just those guides together and walk through those if that'd be something people want to see. So let me know in the comments how, uh, what, what kind of videos you want to see in regards to troop counters like that. I hope you found this video helpful, especially if you're new to the game uh, and wondering about how to best counter different units in the game. But that's going to do it for me today, and I hope to see you all in the next one. <laughs>